Does the world need another streaming video service? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. If you don't have Netflix or Hulu Plus or Amazon Prime Instant Video or Redbox Instant or access to the Xbox Movies or PlayStation Network, or if you don't use the Google Play Store or iTunes or your cable's on demand, well, there's now another choice for renting and buying digital movies and TV shows. Target is the latest company to get in the digital rental game with the service Target Ticket. There's no subscription fee, but you pay for each movie or show you rent or buy. Red card holders get 5% discounts on each purchase. There will be more than 30,000 titles, ranging in prices from $0.99 cents all the way to $37. And it can be accessed online as well as on apps, Xbox 360, some Samsung smart TVs, Blu-ray players and also Roku. And speaking of Roku, there are new Roku boxes now available for pre-order. Roku is a streaming video set-top box that helps you access dozens of video feeds, even CNET shows. The lower cost models now come with new features and a new look. The Roku LT and Roku One come with new remotes with shortcut buttons and the Roku One adds 1080p HD video. The Roku Two remote now has a headphone jack for private listening and Wi-Fi direct so you don't have to point the remote directly at the box. The new Rokus will hit stores sometime in October. The news just keeps getting worse for BlackBerry. Just a few days after the company announced it's looking for a buyer to go private, T-Mobile says it will no longer keep a supply of BlackBerry phones in stock at stores. What that means is that the new BlackBerry Z10 and Q10 phones will be on display, but if you want to go home with one, you might have to order it to be delivered. When there's an emergency alert, you now have the option of getting a notification from Twitter Twitter, the network is launching an alert system that gives some local, state, and national authorities the power to blast out alert tweets that are sent out as text messages and push notifications. It also appears on your Twitter timeline, but you have to sign up to get the alerts. You can find the full list at about.twitter.com slash alerts. Note takers love to rave about the app Evernote, but for those of you that still like using paper and post-it notes, the two worlds are merging. Evernote has partnered with 3M, the maker of post-it notes, so users would take a photo of the post-it and the software could quickly save it digitally. And you can set it so different colors are filed away for different notes, like pink for groceries, for example. There are also special moleskin notebooks that work well with Evernote. That's your tech news update, but you can get more details on these stories at cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.